Hello, how's it going everybody? This is Etho. Welcome back, guys. I've had enough of this. <laughs> I keep putting this off. I'm finally going to put in a lava blade here. I don't know exactly how it's supposed to be done. But I'm going to try it. So I think this is my plan. I'm going to put a sign here. Sign here. Alright. Because what keeps happening, <laughs> I, I keep putting it off, and then they fill up this this spot, and i got to blow them up with TNT. And usually I do that when I'm in the middle of something, and it's like, oh, I'll just put the lava blade in later. <laughs> and then I come back, and there's tons of them here. Um, there's actually quite a bit here, though, still. I wonder, can I do this with them down in here? I want to try put a sign like two blocks below the one we just placed. Oh, I did get it. Okay. Can I do that all four sides? Mm, it's tricky. Oh! Aha! Okay. And... Got it. Good. And final one. Right there. Good. Okay, so now I think I can place lava in between. The, we made a sign sandwich here. All right, <laughs> and we'll we'll check if there's any drops left after I do this. I, I hope I did this right. Ooh. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, I see stuff. Oh, but I might not have placed that high enough. Let's just go down. Let's look. What did we do exactly? So the lava was here. That's three blocks up. I think that's right. Right. Got 32 iron from that. So I'm going to put hoppers down here, I guess, to, to pick up the iron, and we should be good. Uh-huh. And... There we go. No! <laughs> Darn it. Ah! All right. Tell you what, guys. I'm going to do this, and then we will... Are you serious? Let me out of here. There we go, finally. Bum, 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 Does it work? Looks good. I was worried he was going to swim in it, but he goes right down. That's good. Got the hoppers in there. And I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, he died. Cool. And there's the iron. Sweet. So I'll just add some chests down here, and it should be good. Lava's right there. So, let me show you our iron supply over here. Um, <laughs> we still have a ways to go <laughs> to filling this chest up, but I'm too excited. I want to get started on this, like, for realsies today, I think. So we're going to head over to the Nexus and start setting up some stuff there. Okay, so I'll see you there. All right, guys, so here we are at the Nexus. Let me tell you what's going on here. So I've been doing some digging. We're going to move this stuff down to this level so that we can do some staircases down into the storage room. Uh, last episode, we started setting up these faceplates. There was a bit of confusion as to why I would have just single chests at the bottom here. <laughs> And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what's going on. So this is the big secret. This is the, the the goal, the feature that we're trying to achieve with this storage room. The main challenge. Here, I'm going to sleep really quick. <laughs> Keep you on suspense. Uh, so we do want to have an automatic sorting system. Like you drop items in a chest, and they automatically go to where they belong in the storage room. Right? Uh, the other thing, though... Let's go back. I didn't have enough time to s start it last episode, so I just put chests here. These are actually supposed to be droppers. <laughs> so I deceived you a little bit. Um, the, o the other goal of this thing, though, is to have an automatic retrieval system. So you can request items out of the storage room without having to go into it. Uh, which is going to be complicating because <laughs> there's going to be 256 different items in here. How do you pick 
which one you want and how do you get it out. Like, you can get items out of a chest using a hopper and a and a dropper, right? But, how do you pick it? <laughs> so, that is, that is the big challenge. What we're going to do, we're going to be setting up some kind of thing like this at the main command room. And depending on the different combination of these levers, each one of these is like a bit. So there's 256 different combinations you can do, depending on how these levers are arranged. Like maybe some are down, some are up. And you would select which item you want that way out of the 256, then hit a button for requesting that item. There'll probably be a few different options for how many items you want, and it's going to send a bunch of pulses to the proper dropper down there. Um, we'll probably also have some kind of chart over over here explaining which item is what <laughs> with the combination, because there's no way I can remember 256 different combinations and what item is what. So we'll need some organizational system to it too. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to start moving this stuff down here, and then I'll show you how we will be able to control the, the droppers. And there we go. <laughs> so I cleared out some more space, got these droppers in place. This is probably their official position now. Uh, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Eight times four is 32. So that's one eighth of our total storage room over here. And I am going to show you how I'm going to start wiring up the retrieval system. So how we're going to do the binary, the bits. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> it's basically yes or no. Do we trigger this dropper or not? And the easiest way of doing that in Minecraft that I've found is to use sideways sticky pistons, I think. I think. <laughs> Some of the more like computer redstone guys might know more about this than me, but this is how I'm going to do it. Um, and I decided to space these three blocks apart instead of just one so that we can have more details to the build, like aesthetic details, and also it's going to make the redstone so much easier and efficient because I can get rid of like eight repeaters per section or something crazy. So kind of need to like make a circuit board almost <laughs> so much redstone is going to be involved in this so these these sticky pistons here are all part of one bit one of those levers over there this is like the high bit or the low bit i forget what it's called exactly um but there's going to be 128 for this bit the next bit there will be 64 pistons and the next one 32 then 16 it gets progressively less it's like we're building a pyramid type of thing <laughs> I don't know it's hard to explain um, basically we will have a row of repeaters then the next bit would start somewhere here not exactly sure how to do it maybe like this and this it doesn't really matter if they're not exactly the same uh, timing I do have to make sure I don't set my repeaters longer than one tick though and I can't use redstone torches when I when I do this it's sort of a limitation that we have to follow because I'm gonna be using a rapid pulsing clock to get the items out of here and if it's a, a long delay on that it's gonna take forever to get our items so we have to make it as quick as possible um, I think we would do something like this then. And yeah, it kind of makes a pyramid. <laughs> so here, let, let me show you. So if I power this, it's going to branch off to the right only because that's where this block is. If the block was, or if this bit was active, it would switch to the left and it would go to here. And then it only goes to this dropper because the block is not over here, right? So here, I'll put... I'll put cobblestone and ice in. How about that? So, oh, yeah. So if I click this, only one of the four droppers are going to get activated. It was that one there. 
If I extend this, Gobblestone gets triggered. Uh, if I power this, it's going to switch to Ice. Like that. Aha. Uh -huh. So the other thing we got to do underneath all of these, we will need to connect the, one of those levers. Hmm. Tell you what, I'll do it off camera. <laughs> the, I, I don't want to spend too much time on this today. I, I want to do a few other projects, but I thought we would uh, just kind of look into it a little bit. Aha, so check this out, guys. When I pull this lever now, it does this. Ta-da! <laughs> so this isn't super complicated redstone or anything. It's actually really simple. It's got a line of redstone running underneath each of the pistons. And depending on if this is powered or not, it switches between the different droppers, right? It chooses which one to pick. And for this first line, there's 128 sticky pistons. Then the second line, 64, 32, 16. And it just chooses which branch to take as we make our way through it, right? So to actually connect this to our control panel, very simple. All I gotta do is connect one of these bits to uh, this first line of sticky pistons, this like right to this. That's all you gotta do. The second lever up there, I would connect to the second line of sticky pistons. Let's get our ender pearls. This one here, where there's half as many and half as many past that, so it gets easier and easier. Um, and yeah, by doing that, we can choose exactly, hey guy, <laughs> exactly which dropper we want. Uh, using those eight levers up there. Um, but I kind of used up all the redstone I had on me, and even though we've collected a bunch over at our at our area there, our Nexus Fund, I think we should do something else today, okay? So we are going to... Do, 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 do. I don't know. <laughs> Tell you what, let's go... You guys, uh, you guys wanted me to set up some scarecrows. Maybe we'll do that. So we'll head over to the, the windmill over there. All right, so I got some pumpkins. I got some leather. Let's make maybe one full outfit. I don't know if we should use all the pieces, but we'll try them out. And a hat. All right, I brought some straw. I don't know if we'll need it. <laughs> and I was thinking, what should we put the scarecrows on? And maybe a fence would look good so I'm gonna try that uh, do that and that good okay let's go oh no <laughs> I didn't make the armor stands whoops all right and just make a few quickly and that's not the recipe is it no what did I do wrong again oh move it up there we go sweet I haven't made too many of them yet um, been distracted by all kinds of things. I wanted to, to use them more. So, maybe we will put one... Ah, let's put one over here. So... Man, I don't want to jump. I'll trample the crops. <laughs> let's see if I can just place it straight on it. Ah, it fell through. Darn it. Ah, and I killed the crop. And it like jumped off somewhere. <laughs> did I get it back? I think I did. Okay, we probably need a block then. And I'm going to have to trample them. There we go. So now if I drop it, is it going to stay? Oh, <laughs> That's not good. It's floating. Um, okay. Pumpkin. Chess piece for sure, right? How does that look? Probably shouldn't be floating, right? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, oh, that was spooky. Let's try pants just to see. Scarecrows usually have pants, don't they? I think they do. Maybe not. <laughs> um, <laughs> it looks kind of goofy. Okay, how about this? We'll give them a red plaid shirt and blue jeans. Uh, that's what I think of when I think of a scarecrow anyway. There's lots of different types, though. So. Uh, and we'll sit them on a hay bale, maybe, and see what this looks like. 
do that. Okay. Yeah, I like that more, I think. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot more. Mm-hmm. So I made uh, three of them. This guy, this one, and... Where's the other guy? Oh, he, he's turned around. He's over there. <laughs> They're pretty cool. I like them. Good suggestion. Everybody that suggested them, I like it. Uh, so next up, I'm going to attempt to make some custom trees along our path here, which is something I don't have a lot of experience with. Let's see. I will maybe build one... I'm going to build one here to start off with. Just like short 2x2 two two trees. And hopefully they turn out good. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> this is tougher than I thought. I'm having a little bit of trouble. But I'll keep working on it. Hmm. <laughs> it's a little thin on this side. I'm hoping if I just spam leaves around it, it's going to look good. <laughs> Uh, it might be a bit of an optimistic outlook, but I guess we'll see. Because these are supposed to be branches. And... Yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll see what it turns out like. And there we go, guys. That is the finished product. That is how I'm going to leave it. Get it? Leave it? Leaves? Ah, ah. <laughs> um, I had a bit of trouble building it. I thought it was going to be easier than it was, but, but I, I guess it's one of those things I'm going to have to practice. And I added all these little droopy leaves on it because it looked pretty, pretty flat without them. Uh, from a distance, I think it's okay. I tried to build it up quite a bit. It's, <laughs> it's like hundreds and hundreds of blocks, man. I can't believe it. And it looks so small now that I see it with the leaves. It should have probably been at least a block or two taller. But, yeah. Anyway, it was a good learning experience. I added a bit more to the roots as well. Tried to make them kind of crazy looking. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to build like three in 15 minutes or something. <laughs> no, it was like one took at least half an hour. And I'm all out of wood and pretty much out of leaves now. So we'll go we'll go do something else now. Oh man, it is time again, guys, to play our new favorite game. Opa! Operation Population Annihilation. That's right, not just Greek food. So, pick your guy, who do you think's gonna win? I'm going to play legit this time, no armor. I starve myself so I won't recover health so I'm a I'm a worthy contestant here I have the same amount of health as these guys they are so loud <laughs> stop humming in my ear all right so take your pick we have a fisherman and a farmer that are the same color I try to always pick guys that look different but sometimes can't be helped <laughs> so take your pick who's gonna win here we go Oh, 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 oh. Oh, not looking good for the librarian. <laughs> oh, man, they're all going down. Oh, oh. That guy's doing good, good over there. Alright, so did we lose one? No, we haven't lost one yet. Uh, they're all hiding against the walls. Oh, oh. Might lose the butcher here. Oh no, I got hit. Oh, one guy down. Who was that? That was. Oh, I gotta pay attention. Uh, we lost another guy there. Man, if I get hit again, I'm dead. <laughs> oh no, and I walked into it. No. <laughs> Darn it. Can we watch? Can we see who wins? There's too much fire, I can't see. There might be a flaw with the game. The cleric is still alive, I can see that. Mm. 
I think the cleric's gonna win. Because he's the only one I can see. <laughs> Alright, tell you what, we'll try run back. Oh, I'm, I slept here. Good. We might be able to catch it. Uh... Darn, we missed it. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. Okay, I'm going to say the cleric won that, but I'm not sure. So, unfortunately, that is all the time I have to record today, guys. So let's wrap it up with the comments. It says, Etho, what is your favorite non-Minecraft game? And what games did you grow up with or liked in your childhood? Oh, man. <laughs> Best question ever. I could talk so long on this, but we'll have to hurry. Uh, my favorite game as a child was Commander Keen. Uh, I played all six of them and the Dreams. Awesome game, awesome game. I played Jill of the Jungle a lot, Cosmos. Um, what else was there? I pretty much got into video games when I was four or five. Uh, I think I got my a Nintendo when I was six or seven, like a regular Nintendo. Then I got... Uh, my first computer when I was eight, paid with it, or paid for it with my own money. <laughs> it's like a hundred bucks or something, a 286, 44 megahertz. <laughs> I still remember the stats on it. It's, it's, it's so funny. 40 meg hard drive. Oh, yeah. Um, what was there? Jazz the Jackrabbit, um, Maniac Mansion, Santa Max. Oh, then I could get into console games. I, I don't have a lot of time, though. <laughs> this I could talk, seriously, long time on this. Uh, maybe we'll move on to my favorite non-Minecraft game. So I would have to say... Oh, it's, it's tough. I really liked Mario Kart 64 a lot. Um, but if I was to... I think probably I like uh, Super Smash brothers brawl a little bit more though and it's a more current game so i'll go with that harvest moon series also a contender i also played uh the worm series a lot um when i was like 13 to 17 i played worms armageddon and worms world party that was my introduction to online games and oh man <laughs> but anyway i'll leave it at that um yeah. You can ask me again later. I'm sure I'll talk about it more. <laughs> so that that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed our episode. Uh, if you have any feedback, feel free to leave it below. And have yourselves a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.